Perhaps it was the mystery and the gross allegations that surrounded the death of two-year-old Walter Odhiambo that made the Requiem Mass at the Consulate Shrine in Westlands a small, almost clandestine affair with less than 30 people in attendance. Walter's is a case that was heard at the children's court after medical officials at the Mata Hospital suspected that he was a victim of child abuse after he frequented the hospital with internal and external injuries. When the child died after one of his visits where he had head injuries, the hospital suspected foul play and reported the matter to the children's department, particularly when the parents hurriedly arranged for the burial of his remains. The children's court went ahead and stopped the burial until a post-mortem was carried out. Citizen TV has obtained a copy of the autopsy report which shows the cause of death as bleeding in the brain caused by injury from a sharp object. The autopsy further revealed that the deceased had a brain injury, a spinal injury and abrasion scars on his head. It is to this end that the state law has requested fresh investigations into the child's death that could implicate his parents who are currently in police custody. It is the grandparents who presided over the final leg of Walter's journey at the Langata Cemetery. A somber mood it was for the few in attendance, and even though they were reluctant to speak about Walter's mysterious death, their demeanor betrayed their feelings of heart, disbelief, and perhaps questions of whether justice for young Walter will be served. This matter we can't talk now. It will come up. Walter, where were you? And as he was lowered into the grave, one can't help but wonder if the grave will ever yield the mystery surrounding Walter's death. The laying to rest of young Walter seems to put some sort of finality to the allegations that he was a victim of child abuse that could have led to his death. But with the state law demanding fresh investigations into the matter, justice could eventually be served, albeit posthumously. Olivia Ketch reporting for Citizen TV from the Langata Cemetery.